Good evening, everybody. Sorry, we're a few minutes late. Not something I like to do normally, but hopefully some people join in. Oh, it actually shows who's online. There we go. Um, so today uh, is our first day back in the new year. Happy New Year, Hidden. Happy Merry Christmas, all that jazz. Happy New Year. <laughs> um, so we are going to try and get back on the on the train here with this. Uh, obviously, we missed a couple of days over the holidays. Funny Toro actually gave us a nice early comment at 630 uh, Eastern time today. Uh, yeah, I do appreciate that you missed us. I missed you too. I do appreciate all you do in the space. Uh, and I appreciate you uh, coming by live streams and AMAs asking questions. So I, do, I will miss you. Uh, doing that, but I do appreciate you coming by and hopefully watching the replay. Uh, so a shout out to you, sir. Uh, everyone else, if you have any questions as we go through things, please don't hesitate to put them in the uh, comments. We're going to do a couple of things today. Obviously, we'll have a little chat maybe about Bitcoin because it's had a little pump. Uh, hidden, if you want to, I, I guess if you get a moment or you want me to, we can pull up a screenshot, I guess, of the uh, chart and go over that a bit. Other than that, we have a couple ideas we might do. I'm going to actually finally set up my uh, Alchemy Trades bot. It's been a little while because I've been away and stuff. Uh, so we might uh, take a st stab at that. And then um, we also might just do a fresh install because some people were asking last time or in between these events of how to install Alchemy Trades. I haven't done a lot of uh, training videos, mostly because there hasn't been a lot of change. We're waiting for the new... Um, uh, new launch of v5 but at the same token there has been a lot of change since my original video so uh and enough that i probably should have done a video but again i was hoping v5 would come out sooner sorry i'm babbling and hidden are you ready to give us a screenshot of bitcoin or do you want me to pull it up yep i got one second let me share screen okay there we go so we have a couple of people have joined us if you have any questions or you have any comments obviously alchemy trades is our our passion but at the same token we're open to just about anything if we want to taper off to projects or whatever that's fine are you requesting a screen share sorry yeah uh, i am but it looks like everything locked up on my end here oh because i'm like it usually comes up on my side um I can pull up Bitcoin chart. It's uh, just doing and a desk screener. Internet issues and things. Uh, I was actually on uh, Bing X. There we go. Come on. And do it. Maybe internet issues because I'm trying to do things too, but Bing X prices. Maybe I'll try and pull it up. Sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. Let me, oh, you did it, good. Technical difficulties. Quarter mile, welcome back. I do appreciate you as well. You all have any experience trading proprietary firms. They rent their capital to, I guess I should put it up here, to trade with an interest in setting up 3% monthly yield bots with a 200k funded account. That's neat. I can't say I have. I have not. Reason, yeah. yeah, I can't say I have either. That's kind of neat, though. Um, one thing I will say about uh, the, the markets right now and copy trading, uh, even the people who do this for a living have no clue what the hell is going on right now. Um, <laughs> I am here. You got to realize a lot. a lot of those Bing X copy traders are actually bots. Um, they go in, they write their Pine scripts, and then they have uh, certain indicators that trigger. Um, and for the most part, those uh, for most part, those Pine scripts do really well. But the market's not following any sort of actual direction right now and uh yeah so they almost have so no it's really throwing kind of. everything off yeah like everything's opposite what things should be almost exactly um so cutter model just replied uh you can get a collection of prop firms and trade with a capital stack huh if only i had a few million 
Well, you're trading with it, I guess, actually. That's cool. You're actually using it, I guess, almost. Neat. So as we all know, BT, and it looks like it's actually, I haven't looked at it in a so bit. So this is where had a little drop things too. really. Look at that. I looked at it, but I didn't really look at it. That's a crazy. So it pump. took off, and now we're seeing it kind of do its wave. Yeah. And that was all, I guess, based on the CPI index in the States. There was the initial uh, pump right that now. happened, I think, the day before because China yes. launched their numbers because yep. they always know them in advance. And then the second pump was basically because U.S. did what uh, or did a decrease when we thought they'd stay flat. Right? Pretty much. Yeah. Sorry. I was, um, thought I lost you. <clears throat> no, that's okay. Yeah. That's exact. That's exactly what happened. You know, I am lagging something fierce for some reason. You right are now. a bit. It's yeah. Um, and I don't know if it's in. Gotcha. Uh, it's just coming up quarter mile. You have to pass evaluations yeah. and offer profit split with firms. Interesting. Okay, I'd be curious about that a little bit more. Pardon me. I'm going to cough. So I'll mute myself. No need to throw that into the Any microphone. Any rise from meteoric rise. Um, so pretty much like Justin was just saying, uh, a large part of that was the CPI came back better than expected. Um, but what people are failing to realize is a 6.1% CPI is still awful. Yeah, exactly. And um, that's why this is, and what I think a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people want to see this be the start of the bull, but reality is this is yeah. totally a fake out um, or what they call a, a... Yep, 100%. There's no reason... A bull trap. Yeah, a bull trap. Thank you. I was like, what the hell's the name of it? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, there's no reason for this. There's no logic to it. Uh, don't get fooled by it. Uh, it's nice. And I, uh, being part of another project, I'm I'm excited for this because when the drop happens, that'll give us some profits again, which will be good too. So, because we're holding some shorts now. Um, so, what's your opinion of the on the reason exactly. for the meteoric rise last There's week? absolutely no, no reason. Sorry, go ahead. Hidden. I'm jumping in. Are you there? No, I was just going to say there's absolutely no reason for what yeah. for seeing what we're seeing right now. Uh, everything yeah. should be dropping. Uh, the world is still burning, so to speak. I mean, <laughs> yep. <laughs> things are not getting better. No. Um, but great question, Dave. Um, as you can see, I messing around with. Uh, paper trading right now and i actually caught this pretty much at the very top of the spike on a 50x short so oh nice just playing around yep Come on, always the questions I, um and, uh, you all recognize have patterns and everything. yeah predictive um, ai trading bots ethereum is actually doing really well right now too I haven't looked at that all either. I, I man, I've been so nicely busy, but busy. Those predictive okay. AI trading bots again go back to people who write pine scripts. When they say they're predictive trading bots, it's people putting in uh, indicators. You know, they back test them. Let me see. Hold on. up trade and view i, I wrote you know a very I, crude indicate test and actually did pretty well <laughs> nice <laughs> um so crypt uh, oh, man, uh, absolutely so um we can totally do that in one of these so we're gonna do these every week i think i, I think we've found some value um it's still a work in progress, but the thing with this kind of stuff is if you don't do it consistently, it's really hard to grow anything. Um, so I'm happy. I believe hidden. You're good with kind of continuing this. It's if everybody's okay with the time that's here and hopefully more people come, um, it works really well for me because my family's all kind of passed out at this time. Um, hidden you good with this whole thing. I, I know we've, it's not like we've had a massive intake oh, yeah. of people. I enjoy it. Um, 
and it's nice to do something consistently, I guess, is when it comes down to it. So, uh, yeah, when V5 comes out, I have no issue doing that. I would hope that we'd even get Alchemy and, and Sergey on here, and hopefully even May at some point that would enjoy us, uh, come join us for that session. Um, but for sure, we can. I'm happy to do that. Really, all I care about any of the stuff I do in YouTube in DeFi, um, as hopefully some of you are aware, and those that join Hidden, if you've been in the Alchemy uh, Discord, uh, we just want to help. Uh, that's really all that matters. Um, I want to quit my day job and do this full time uh, and would love to get to that point that my family and my wife is comfortable with that because that's a hard thing to do. No, I'm sure you guys can understand. Uh, but really, all I care about is adding value. So if if this keeps adding value and we'll give it some time, I'm not going to quit it overnight. Uh, but as long as we're bringing value to you guys, that's really all I care about. Um, sorry, anything you want to go into there? I agree. Yeah. Or, nope. Yeah, I think I figured out what the issue is with my internet. So pretty sure I just oh, fixed good. it. Awesome. You do sound better now. So I had my uh, VPN on. Oh, that would do it. Which I think mine is on too, actually. Yep. But, but I guess it's not doing much right now. So as I said, we'll try and go through right. an opportunity. And if you guys want, um, I believe some people were asking about installing the original version. So I'll try and do something with that here today, depending on where we go. And uh, Scott, Pocket, that's my name. Pocket Aces, Justin, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Scott. Uh, it's nice when I'm not doing it. When people come and say hi to me when I'm doing an AMA, it's harder. I can't just stop whatever I'm doing and say hi. <laughs> I'll just say <laughs> that, Pocket. Um, Saul, USDT is fairly steady right now. And Saul is one thing that I don't look at much. And I guess I'm happy that I didn't have any because it did its massive dump. But if it's holding steady now, that's great. I guess, is that something you want to pull up quickly on there? Or did you want to talk to ETH at all? Soul. Soul is another one um, that really should not be doing as well as it's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I, um, I would love to at some point um, uh, get into DCAing into a bunch of different L1s because I, I talk about that on my channel and I believe in it 110%. I've been doing a lot of DGEN stuff to more build my capital because of what I've lost in uh, the bear the bull market, to be honest. Um, so I go a little bit more into that, but I look yeah. forward to actually DCAing into some other stuff. Um so what's going on, brother? Glad to be here and can't wait to watch here you. Put in. We haven't gone that far, Scott, so you're pretty much live with us. But by all means, if you have to leave, uh, don't hesitate to watch the we watch. And guys, give Hidden some love. I know he's not a YouTuber like me, and he's not on camera, but I think you said you would at some point, eh? Maybe? Hidden. Myself? Yeah, you. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Sorry, I switched over to Trade and View tab real quick to show you uh, some new indicators. Oh, this is really that cool and powerful. Um, and it lagged out a little bit. Um, so when somebody talks about a predictive AI bot, this is pretty much what they're doing. Um, they input all of these different indicators, uh, indices into Pine Script, and then they write a script. Like if you see right here, it's saying from the 17th, started all the way back at uh, 1.42 in the morning, it went into bear market conditions on this token. And that's just in a day. Huh, that's so neat. Actually, a lot of data. It's some really high-end level stuff that I'm still trying to really resistance levels when you should be buying, when you shouldn't. We can actually hmm. scroll in here on the candlesticks. And a candlestick that's solid green is a strong, strong uh, positive. So just, just to go through that, I guess. In green case candlestick. Know, that's... Sorry. And, and I would like you to explain further, but I'm just going to show quickly something, just the, the lingo. So if you notice, there's the thick bar. That's what he's calling the candlestick. And then the other thing that you may mention at some point, and what we've used a lot when it comes to alchemy trades and grid trading, is these wicks 
which is like the line that goes up. So almost like the wick of a candle. Um, this kind of thing is what you'll like to see. So even if there's volatility inside the candle, when there's really long wicks, those are really good opportunities for hopefully um, the Alchemy Trades bot to kind of grab that top or sell or grab that bottom or sell that top when it comes to the wicks extending so far. Sometimes it has to be quick. It doesn't always get them all, but it's a pretty neat thing. But sorry, carry on hidden. Nope, that's exactly right. Um, one big thing to know about the Alchemy Trade Spot is it's pulling directly off the chain. So this Trade View, Deck Screener, all of them, they are not actually taking it off the chain. Um, I know for a fact Deck Screener is skewed. Um, Deck Screener is actually a uh, combination of the last two uh, buys and sells. And that it kind of even, um, creates the medium. So when you pull up a price on deck screener, you're actually looking at the median price between the last buy and the last sell. Whereas on, um, oh, let me switch over here. Alchemy Trades is taking it straight off the blockchain. So we actually get the upper advantage in that. When you see this wick, the bot, for the most part, is going to be bound right on the very top of that wick. So the wick's not quite showing yet on the... For example, with BNB right here, if you were running it, your bot would have caught this the top of this wick, and that would have bought right down here again. Yeah, um, sometimes in the same... So that's, these, that's actually, where the big you're advantage looking at, comes from. Yeah, and right now you're looking at a 15-minute... Uh, whereas if you actually lower it to the one minute, you'll see yep. more of the real time stuff that's happening as it floats through there. A um, couple quick things here. Yeah, so Simon, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming by. Hello, Simon. And Aaron, so thank you, Aaron, for stopping by. Um, I will drop a Discord, actually, when I get a second for Aaron. They have a project going on right now that actually helps veterans uh, in the States, and they're doing some uh, mining operations as well as, um, so mining NF NFTs, as well as uh, looking to create a shelter for, uh, I guess, veterans. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm explaining that poorly right now, but, uh, but yeah, Aaron's in a project that's quite neat, and I look forward to hopefully talking about it in the future. Um, and I'll drop the Discord earlier or nice. later if anybody wants to have a look. So I digress. Uh, yeah, and V5 quarter mile, that was, and I did put a comment there below, was that is about Alchemy Trades. So Alchemy Trades, uh, it's, we're in V4 point something, I can't remember. Um, and version 5 is in the making, I guess. Is that the best way to put it in? Yes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I can't give specifics, <laughs> um, but it is close. Good. Um, yeah, and I, that so I'm not that. in there as often as I'd like to be, and that's where hidden comes in really good value because um, <clears throat> I'm jumping in from things and been off for vacation, but um, hidden still. I am a mod, but I don't get in there as often as I uh, should. Um Cool. Oh, congrats, Dave. And thank you for your service. I'm from the, from Canada, so I don't necessarily, but at the same token, I still respect that employment. And if nothing else, the one disadvantage you guys have to us is I feel like ours are well taken care of after your service. So thank you, uh, Dave, for all you do, because um, I don't feel you guys get the same uh, aftercare service as we do in Canada. Uh, our veterans are quite well taken care of, well, that I know of, so... Uh, but thank you, Dave. And I will drop that link in there if you don't know about the project. I think it's worth having a look. And sorry, carry on with some charts there, sir. That's okay. I'm I'm over back over on uh, Trade View trying to pull up uh, how people do their uh, predictive AI bots. Um, so I'll pop back over here. This is a, a real quick one that I made. Uh, oh, so you actually just use chat GPI. You just tell it what you want it to do. <laughs> Oddly enough, I was going to say this earlier. I and chat GPI. thank you for bringing it up is chat GPI. That is the catch phrase of 2023 so far. Oh, yeah. So did you, you literally just talk uh, to it and 
So this I is what it gave you? Yeah. Nice. Yep, you tell it what, what indicators you want it to use. And it, it goes step by step and writes the entire thing out. This one is supposed to open longs and shorts with a trail and stop. Um, it's using the uh, EMA, it's fast and slow EMA. It's it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, stop loss, Very take cool. profit. It's all really simple. You can just ask ChatGPT to help you through that. Um, and I'm, I wish more places would implement the Pine script so I can use it on Dex. Dexes rather than having to use it on a sex. I just I want to get off the central exchanges because I'm not trusting of them much anymore. I really why especially why do after you have lack you know, of FTX trust? and everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's that's huge, right? <laughs> and it's <laughs> and that's so for those of you maybe that are coming to the channel, I guess I don't always mention or think of that, but anybody coming from the from my uh, Facebook channel that maybe didn't. Um, see my videos with Alchemy Trades uh, is Alchemy Trades is a, a Dex trader. It's one of the only ones, or the, is the only one right now that trades on decentralized exchange. So you might have heard the phrase "your wallet, your money," um, or not your wallet, not your money. Um, when you're trading on centralized exchanges, you don't have control over your money. Uh, so, like what Hidden was saying with FTX, FTX goes down, your money goes down as well. Um, so you definitely something to be aware of. Um, and so, and I apologize, quarter mile. I thought you would have known about alchemy trades. Um, so I will drop also that discord in here. Um, so this is a light. So for those that don't know, uh, this is a license that you can buy. Uh, it's a software license. So if you, um, go into the alchemy trades discord, which I will drop into the chat right now, uh, they have this bot trading software and it gets loaded on your computer or in my case i have it on a vps uh, in order to because you do have to have your computer staying on 24 7. Um, so i have it on a vps and in turn i can have that trading for me uh, with two pairs from any uh, decentralized exchange look at you pulling it up um, so this is the website and uh, so do come by the Discord. If you don't know about Alchemy Trades, then I do recommend, and this is my only piece of financial advice for the evening, is come by the, the Discord. You do your own research afterwards and then create your own financial advice of whether you want to do this or not. <laughs> so there is some big things coming for this. The one big thing right now is if you buy the bot now, uh, you're getting it for hidden. Is it still 500? Still 500 for right okay. now. <laughs> we do Once have V5 is ready to go, it is so, jumping up to $1,500. Oh, it's 1500 Wow. Okay. Um, so right now you can join this Discord. And if you chose to, you could spend $500 to buy this bot. It is now yours for life. If the price of the bot goes to $10,000, you own the bot. It doesn't matter. Um, obviously, there is, there is, I guess, the quote-unquote risk is if uh, Serge and Alchemy decide not to uh, progress further with the bot and just let it go, um, or if some unforgiving accident happened to Alchemy, whatever the case may be, um, the bot would stop at whatever version it's out, but it wouldn't stop to existing or stop existing. Exactly. Um, so you could still use the software at the version that you have and continue using it. So the risk is $500, it could stop where it is. If V5 comes out, uh, there is a lot of very robust systems that are being implemented in this. Uh, Hidden, did you want to go into those at all? <clears throat> sure. Uh, showing one, the one I'm uh, very excited for is what we're calling double grids. Um, oh, yes. Right now, you're running one grid, so it buys one up, sets one cell limit, and it keeps doing that, the number of grids you have. Uh, this double grid logic that uh, Surge and Alchemy have figured out will actually start putting half grids now too. So it'll buy, it'll set a buy grid, one up, sell grid, one down, and then have one in between on each side. So you're going to be hitting these, uh, if you see how it's going right here, just in between, you're going to be hitting half grids the entire time. 
Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and Dave, we will go back to chat GPT. I do see us making some comments, but now that we started down this road, I wouldn't mind uh, taking a little peek at it. So quarter mile, this is the white paper for Alchemy Trades? That is correct. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I did see it a long time ago, but um, so quarter mile, yeah, this is the white paper. And if you're showing this little graphic here that you see in the middle of the screen, this is actually just an example of what a grid trader does. So as you can see, as the price goes down, it's buy, buy, buy. And as the price goes up, it's sell, sell, sell. So the space between the grids creates buys and sells, which help you create profit. And the nice thing is because they're going um, kind of back and forth, back and forth, and if the price goes obviously up and down, up and down, you're creating a lot of buy and sell opportunities to cre keep pulling profit from it. Um, so it's a really neat bot. Um, and it's the only one available uh, for grid trading on DEXs. And like I was saying before we started this conversation is the ability to have your funds on a MetaMask and keep the funds in your possession the whole entire time while you're jumping back and forth between, let's say, USDC and Matic or uh, USDC or um, BN BUSD and BNB or whatever, however you want to trade it, you're jumping back and forth between those inside your entire wallet. So the money is never not in your possession. Um, so very, very neat. This is why we started, uh, Hidden and I started this. Uh, at the same token, we like to digress over other subjects because we're open everything. And usually I don't control it all. Usually Hidden does talk more, but my fault. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, very good points. There uh, you go. My good so yeah, the box there. So we're coming out with that. Um, another thing that the the crazy scientist over there, Alchemy, figured out um, is a smart wallet. So it, Alchemy Trades, you're going to have your own wallet for Alchemy Trades now, too. And what that's going to allow you to do is set your uh, entry price, set take profits. Uh, I believe we're working on a trail and stop. Um what else are we doing here? Um, there's a whole bunch, whole bunch of things that you can do. Let me see if I can. Right, one of the ones you just said. Does that mean, V5. for example, that that I could set a larger gap, but I can control the actual gaps completely? That sounded like you were saying stuff what do you like mean? that. You were saying controlled stops and or uh, stops and. Highs and lows, right? So you're going to be able to set take profit points and then a trail and yeah, stop so, loss as well. I believe we were looking into. Okay. Yeah. So I was just kind of ex trying to understand those better so that theoretically I could create larger gaps between two uh, gra um, grids and smaller gaps between grids, other grids. Yeah. Cool. That's theoretically, cool. yeah. And it's really amazing because um, once you really start getting into it, you'll notice that your your money is going up, but it's not triggering the grids, so to speak. And that's because if you have too low of capital and your grids are too spaced out, there's wiggle room in between that grid to be able to, you know, theoretically still be making money, but not mm -hmm. trigger a sell. Um, so what the trail and stop loss and everything is going to allow you to do is say actually perfect timing. You see how there's this big gap right here and you're just not hidden either. Yep. You could theoretically set your stop loss right here, get out, wait for a better entry point and then get back in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let me pull this up. Cause I actually have V5 beta which is out for everybody. This is the for the sim. Just got for the sim only? Let it spool up here. Yes, sim only. I'm obviously not in the Discord as often as I should be. I apologize for that. Because <laughs> otherwise I'd know this. <laughs> I'm being rude at this moment and dropping my Telegram because I just okay, opened it. On. But I will be doing a Facebook soon, or a Facebook, a Discord soon. Uh, but for now, I've got a little telegram that a couple of people are in. So user agreement. 
please accept or reject. So it is obviously will come up for the first time. So sorry, is this V5? So you'll notice we got a ticker down here that scrolls across showing. That's cool. This is V5, yep. Okay. Look at you uh, dropping the alpha. So we got our scrolling ticker. <laughs> right? <laughs> now check this out. Oh, I got to select a. I will say pancake swap. Noob. Come on. There we go. Oops. Yes, I know. I got to click grid simulation. <laughs> so this is only available in simulation. So right now, now you can. And... Correct. Yep. It, do others have access to this so... or just you? Oh, yeah. You can. Okay. Uh, he put a link to it in um, the Discord. Anybody can go down, loop. download it, and give it a shot. Cool. Um, so now. One new thing, when you pull up your grids, you can do two things. You can actually start your grid or you can get your the price stream. So what would the price stream be? Um, so, no, it's not on yet. The terminal, when you pull up that terminal as it's running, you see the price stream. Oh, okay. So that's when I say the price stream, I mean the terminal itself. You pull up the terminal and it gives you every uh, three seconds, it pulls from the blockchain and gives you the price of the token. Okay. So we'll go BNB. Then here you can actually, if you don't want to do all chart too, huh? percent so here he's setting the price the lower range of the price so this is a little more complicated than we used to have in our v4 um here you have a little bit more options to play with which is kind of nice to control your grids and i guess i don't have i can't point at things but you can now you can Click here. So I'm sorry. You set your, your lower and your upper. <laughs> and then it takes a second and actually calculates how many grids you can have. Uh, for example, for this one, I can only have 10 grids with $1,000 start in capital. Once you and set your grids, you can the come over here and set your stop here. loss. Um, sorry. Yeah. We got some lag there. Then you, nope, that's okay. <laughs> then you can set your start price, which is huge because uh, V4 currently you're at the mercy of the token. Now, if I didn't want to start this until it dips back down here, I can do that. Hmm. Your end point. Yeah, because when we started, so I guess, back in V4. Sorry, when we started back, when V4 started, you'd start at a certain grid and you'd buy all the ones that are below you. Does that make sense? Exactly. Yeah. So, so now, now, because you now can this control actually that, lets you when you want to jump in. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> this lag is killer. <laughs> it is a little bit. I've, I haven't had to deal with this much before. Um, but uh, I told it to wait until it hits 296, nothing's popping up. So as soon as BNB dips back down to six and start grid trading, which it actually looks like it's about to drop down into my price range. Score, good timing. But yeah, that's that's V5. and that's the big thing there, right? Is when you do that too, you can catch it even if it's just sort of a, a couple of seconds of buy of sell pressure, uh, which is pretty neat. 
and I quite enjoy that new feature because sometimes, it, like I said, it ends up being more of a wick than a than a candlestick, which ends up creating a very limited time frame that it dips below that because there's maybe some good buy pressure still competing, which is nice that it uh, can take advantage of that. That's awesome. Love the new features. Definitely. So Dave's asking, what was your needed price um, movement in this world? Uh, $2, which okay. sucks for BNB. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I guess the same kind of stuff is there, though, that was in the old ones, yeah, where you see your grid um, data when it comes to price per grid and all that kind of stuff still comes up. I didn't see it there, but... Yep. Um, they're also... Uh, the, the next feature I'm actually very excited for as well is uh, uh, back in V3, when the down, you had the option to restart it at previous the previous mm. grid settings. Um, yep. V4 came out, and uh, don't take that off. Um, V5, Alchemy has been going through and redoing the, uh, the bone, so to speak, of the entire bot. Um, now they're actually able to uh, bring that back with a database and you're actually going to be able to see all of your trades, uh, you know, your profit, how much you sold it for, bought it for, et cetera. And you're actually going to be able to pick up back when your bot was turned off. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, that's going to be awesome because that was a feature that was kind of nice about the DOS version almost of the protocol. Yeah. Yeah. Um, v3 was very nice i made a lot of money with v3 uh <laughs> the the biggest issue with v3 is it did not have profit guard um which v4 v5 and so on and so forth are going to have profit guard um for anybody who doesn't know profit guard is something that Al alchemy and surge uh came up with they run it the price and grids and everything through a um algorithm and if something you choose is, is going to at, be at risk of losing you money, the bot will not let you. So if you had too many grids with too little space between them, or you had not enough grids with too much space between them, it would actually calculate out and go, this is not good for you. You're going to lose money. And that was only available really on three. Uh, four, they tried to do it and had to take it off, I think, very quickly in its lifespan because uh, it didn't work out. Well, there's a nice little candle on b, &B. Yeah, What about so a gas would you recommend having in your wallet for the bot to do trades? So this does a little bit depend on which chain you're on. Um, but in the most part, luckily, most of the chains we're dealing with right now are pretty low. Obviously, ETH, you still want to be careful of or stay away from. If you're going to do ETH, if you wanted to kind of trade that, you'll want to do it on Polygon because there is a, a kind of a wrapped ETH inside there. Um, am I wrong? I think that's right. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, other than that, if you're dealing on BNB, that's really, or BSC, that's really the only one that takes a little bit more gas. So I'd have more like, dollars of gas uh like tens of dollars even maybe uh when it comes to bnb &B or bsc but any of the other ones i mean really you can get away with five ten bucks tops if i'm not mistaken and hidden please yep. correct me if i'm wrong there nope you're spot on bsc hey, I, I keep still $10. My stuff. <laughs> uh bsc i keep ten dollars for gas uh avax was like five dollars and you were fine yeah. um nice. i got off of polygon back when we <laughs> uh first started doing opt and we were finding that we were just destroying the network <laughs> oh my god I mean, it was we ridiculous had yeah. three four hundred people trading opt at once and it was people were having failed transactions because the polygon network just can't handle it yeah um, i'm so, it, it's so weird to be so excited for a for a uh, chain that for some reason acts so effing slow because they they really yeah. have like there's partnerships that they keep talking about and it's not been once or twice. It's been over a, a period of time, like Disney and all this stuff, but damn, they need to get their act together. Um, Alchemy just uh, posted in one of the group chats I'm in with him. Um, the Polygon Dow or whoever it is, the owners of Polygon 
um, they're actually voting on hard forking Polygon and fixing those issues. That would be amazing. And I think they need to do that, but I didn't 100%. know there was a DAO like that. That's amazing. Uh, very cool. Looking forward to V5. Dave, I am 100% on the same page as you, sir. Me too. I I keep uh, messaging him and Serge asking when V5 is coming out because I think uh, you're going to see a lot more uh, potential upside with V5 and V4. Just the amount of customization you get when starting the bot and everything is going to be absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah. Um, and any questions, Dave, honestly, I like, I, so uh, just in case some of you are coming in here for the first, I'm a quote unquote YouTuber, inf whatever effing name you want to give me. I really don't take any of them to be honest with you. Um, I enjoy this space. All I desire is to help people hidden is the exact same way. I've seen them in, in the Alchemy Trades discord. Uh, we don't mind talking about anything. I'm not going to say I'm a pro on all of it. I do get well-versed in almost anything. And of course, you're going to throw that question at me. <laughs> <laughs> Any thoughts again in the launch of Vulcan Bulk Chain in March? Sales are taxed, though. Um, so I do have to go back. So I'm actually, so I'm creating a Discord. And sorry, Hidden, I'm jumping onto things. And please smack me if you need me to. But um, you're fine. I am setting up my own Discord. And I'm actually doing it with Paul Dutton. So if you are not subscribed to Paul Dutton, uh, and especially if you are interested in Vulcan blockchain, I recommend his channel. He actually is very, very similar to me. We actually have very similar sized channels right now uh, when it comes to subscribers. So we are going to partner together, create our own uh, Discord, which will be a paid one. There'll be a free portion of it because I don't want to eliminate people. But I do want to give some exclusivity to parts of it only because uh, it's... It's really neat, and I've talked about this before on some of my journey stuff, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, and having a private Discord does add a lot of value. And as much as it might cost a little bit of money in there, it adds a lot of value in that you can talk about anything. And as much as Alchemy Trades is something we kind of focus on in this chat, we are not opposed to talking about anything. This is not the Discord of, of Alchemy Trades. And even then, correct me if I'm wrong, Hidden, when I was there, we talk about anything there too, because it's not a competitor of anything. It is an opportunity oh. for you to make money. So go ahead. And... Oh, I was just, I was agreeing with you, you know, yeah. uh, the community over at Alchemy Trades. I, I mean, everybody says it, but uh, I think you can agree that community at Alchemy Trades is one of a kind. Uh, oh, absolutely. People come in all the time asking questions about the bot, you know, what pairs to do. And, as soon as somebody asks that question, you'll see five or six people, you know, that right say, Hey, this is what I'm doing. This is, you know, what so and so is doing. They found good luck with that. Um, very rarely have myself or any of the other monitors, uh, moderators rather, had to, you know, ban or silence anybody. I don't think I've actually ever silenced anybody. Uh, the only very, people very, we've very had to ban are those scanners, scammers come in. Scammers, yeah. We've had a Make few of them post me. booby pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So going back to your comment, um, Dave. Uh, go ahead. Sorry, anything else hidden? Nope, go for it. Yeah. Um, so going back to your comment, uh, so I haven't actually done a lot of research since Vulcan. I do want to go and actually uh, listen to Paul Dutton because he has a does a really good job. Uh, he is, I'd almost say he's a better YouTuber than I am, but I don't really want to admit that, but I don't have the ego other YouTubers have. So, um, so I can say it. Um, he does a really good research job. He, I, and I know he posted something that was possibly negative about Vulcan blockchain. I'm curious to listen to it, but I haven't had a chance yet. So Vulcan, if those not listening or listening to replay or whatever, that is Seifu's uh, been turned to Vulcan. And I believe Brian has actually been voted off the island. I'm totally paraphrasing there in my own system. Um, so I really don't know what to say about that one right now. And as you've said, haha, um, I do want to look into it just because I knew it was not happening until March. I haven't taken much time out for it because I've been pretty busy uh, in a positive way. Um, so, uh, so, and this is a great question and I appreciate you, Rain Man Dude. Um, so 
especially if you don't know about alchemy trades, I appreciate this big time. So the actual setting them up is actually not that hard. I will maybe go through a little bit of a setup of a bot on the version that we have right now. Um, Hidden's going to find me a token. I'm going to just wing it and trade with $250 on it and then we'll revisit it next week. This is part of this program that I wanted to do from day one but I haven't and that's probably not a bad thing because the market's been a little bit funny but now I think is a good time to at least uh, have some fun and take a chance and I wish I had gotten in at the start of this call because that looks like a really good pair that I could have had some fun with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tokens are starting to come alive but uh, like mm -hmm. we said at the very beginning, this is 100% a bull trap. Absolutely. So I could be screwing myself, but I don't care. This is 250 of risk capital that I don't care if I lose. But I do understand, in my opinion, that the grid trading bot that Alchemy <laughs> Trade created um, does mitigate my risk more than me going and making a DGN play into some protocol that's randomly done. That's my two cents right there. Uh, so, uh, and I guess I didn't quite get into it. So Rain Man Dude, uh, Man Dude um, the bot itself is actually quite easy to set up. So there is instructions. I've done tutorials on how to set it up. The Discord itself is really supportive of anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, and it doesn't matter how much little or much you know. Uh, the Discord there will support you in Hidden and I, but mostly Hidden because I'm, I'm almost, if you want to call it an honorary mod, I'll, I'll label myself that way. Um, whereas Hidden is a full-fledged mod and um, community manager, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as well as May is another one. And um, oh, I'm forgetting a name, and I know it, and I'm going to remember it as soon as you say it. Uh, we have Deep. Deep's also big time, yep. And I'm not going to Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Who's the rest of our gang? Oh, no, I'm just lagging. So, <laughs> oh, what's going on? I'm like, what's going on? Uh, Deep, Yosef. Yosef, sorry. He's Yosef also in really amazing. And Deep is too. Like, they all are. I, there's really no bad people. Um, no, nope, sorry. This one's for you, Hidden. So, I'll let exactly. you do that while I'm babbling. Um, so, yeah, the, the big thing with them is it's not hard to deal with. Please, that if is, you do so. decide to go there, use my, um, let them know that you've come from Pocket Ace's channel because they'll give you, uh, you'll actually get the bot. So I'm going to advertise it right here because I'm sure Alchemy will be fine with it. You actually get it for $450 instead of $500. Um, so to be honest, it's my channel. So I have the right to say what I want to say. So if you do find some value in this, not financial advice, please go do some research, ask Hidden, ask Alchemy if you want to. Serge is another developer on there. Um, do talk to them but they are great people. I wouldn't be supporting them if I wasn't, didn't feel that way. Uh, that's who I am, but uh, it's really easy to set up and we'll walk you through it. I'll walk you through it for kind of loud. I'll go on a chat with you if you wanted, um, but it is still risky. You can still get sandwiched. You can still pick a token with, an, with a, a honey pot on it. Like you do have to still use either some knowledge if, somebody suggests a token randomly on the chat make sure that you know they've tested it because they could be having fun with something um but there's so there's no matter what there's risk it's DeFi. sorry go ahead Hidden. do you have anything else you want to say about this ct usdt what are you looking at no i'm just while you're while you were talking i'm just Modern doing the required background check <laughs> so what what he's doing here yeah um, he's taking looking at tokens and you carry on and let you know let them know what you're doing there okay, uh, fattiest yeah also very good first you oh come on my computer is so slow this morning or this afternoon evening rather um so <laughs> to answer your question dave uh the settings i do are hundred thousand dollars lp uh and 48 hours minimum uh, I found 99% of the gas rugs and other issues we run into are these ones that have popped up in less than 24 hours. Um, I mean, look at Circulate Money. They rugged in 48 hours with over $2 million. You had to open up that wound, eh? I'm sorry. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just saying, look how 48 hours seems to be 
Oh yeah, no, I totally don't get me wrong. I agree, and I was I, um, I never really thought about it. there was some stuff I probably would have wanted to or possibly gone into about the market in the last little while. It's been interesting, and unfortunately, James, that guy from CM, he yeah. knew how to talk the talk, man. Yeah, definitely did. So what I am actually doing right now, after. I do those settings. Then I look at your um, liquidity versus the volume. So this is like, what, 10 times the volume <laughs> to liquidity. Um, then you copy your transaction ID. Oh, I'm going to say, I think you're lagging a bit there. I'm not seeing. Oh, there we go. So liquidity to volume, which is like a 10. 10 times the volume to liquidity on this particular token. Uh, then you copy the address. Um, and whatever honeypot detector you use, I mean, I use honeypot.is or honeypot detector. Uh, I think it's like .com or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. As you can see, this one says it's not a honeypot. Um, but they're actually getting very smart now. And what they're doing is if we, one th thing you want to do is check one of these transaction hashes and make sure they're not burning the tokens. So this is actually a purchase. Oh, cool. Like burning like all the tokens within here. like fake they making the price go kaboom. So what we've actually ah right here, self-destruct. <laughs> this is a gas rock. Oh, dude, you're lagging. So this is I'm assuming almost like a honeypot. This is a honeypot. This is how they're getting yeah. around these detect honeypots now. So they burn the token uh, instead so, this poor so that person, you don't realize it's messing with you. Yeah. So this poor person spent $208 thinking they were going to get stuff. Um, like they tried to sell $208 worth of whatever the hell this is. And then what it does is it just deletes the tokens. So they're trying to sell. The tokens so are all gone. The price goes up. Makes people bought, more people buy quote, it. Quote. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Fuck. And then a second thing you always want to check. Come on. Come over here to the contract tab. Read contract. And then just look to um, big red flags or anything that can blacklist wallets, uh, change taxes, because even though it comes up on the honeypot detector as a zero tax, if they have the ability to add taxes, that will destroy you. Um, yeah, because it can add like a 40% tax in the middle of nowhere and boom, you're done. And blacklisting any of these exactly. really, it depends on the protocol. If the, So where Hidden's going into this more so, and correct me if I'm wrong, is this is when you're researching a token. If you're researching a project, for instance, PVG, it has the ability to blacklist wallets. We know that. Manny's told us that. But when you're looking at these where you're trying to find out if a volatile pair will be good to trade on Alchemy Trades, you don't want that ability because maybe it's auto blacklisting every wallet that invests in it, in which case that stops you from being able to take your money back out. Exactly. Um, sometimes uh, we've seen it in past with, uh, you know, a, a protocol that shall not be named. Uh, if you sell too many times within a 24 hour period, they blacklist you for, I think it was 24 to 48 hours. Um, and you don't want I that either. what you're talking about. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> So I was looking. I know this project. Um, 
I got in this project when it first started. I made a lot of money off of it. Um, but we can do this again. I'm an idiot. I mean, it pops up. There we go. So it's on a little bit of a pump. <laughs> okay. So Wombat. Um, basically what this is, like I said, I made a lot of money on this when it first came out. Um, and it is currently on a, a pretty big pump, actually. Um, it should flatline back down. As you can see, the RSI is way above where it should be. Um, another wow. good indicator, and a lot of people, uh, depending on who they are and how they trade, will tell you not to worry about the RSI because it's a lagging indicator. Um, but I've personally found that watching the RSI uh, helps quite a bit. Um, like this one is way oversold, so there is there is going to be a correction. Um, and my guess, it's probably going to come back down to 14 cents. Nice. Um, but this one is a very, everything here, 1.6 million liquidity, 1.3 million in volume, amazing stats as it yeah. is. Um, let me open up. Yeah, and that's the thing, guys. Like, so, and again, if you're kind of new to this, and it's hard to, to keep everybody interested forever, and we are actually hitting on the hour mark, so we probably don't want to go too crazy longer. And I said I'd set up a bot, so maybe we'll do that next, because um, I just realized we're hitting the fifty-six minute, minute mark. Um, but yeah, if you don't have a lot of liquidity, it changes the price quite drastically, which can be really hard uh, with a grid trading bot if you're buying and selling your own grid. So if you set the grid too uh, thin. And you have um, uh, a very high liquidity or low liquidity, sorry. All of a sudden, you're going to be bouncing up above it, down below it, up above it, down below it. And you're literally trading your and wasting your own liquidity and fees and gas fees and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, Dave, yeah, great point. So, do they have, and I know we've talked about this kind of stuff, but do they have a checklist in there on how to check? Uh, and I guess I could do a video on it. Um, with your assistance, we could probably record a little one um, about how to pick a token. So uh, I do have it pinned, okay. uh, given just the basic you know, deck screener, high volume, low market cap, uh, over 40 hour, 48 hour pair with 100K plus LP. Yeah. Is and I know what that I've done. Discord chat. Yeah, and I know I've done a video on that a little bit. Uh, and the only reason why I haven't redone any videos is honestly because I was waiting for V5 because uh, I actually was very consistently making training videos for various questions that were in the Discord. Uh, and I had a pretty, like, you can actually go to them from my past videos with Alchemy Trades and there's chapters in them to kind of go to this, these different kind of things. I don't know if I went as, into as much detail as I'd like to, as I should, uh, but at the time I was newer-ish too at the time. So I definitely with V5 was waiting to kind of redo all of these videos, but I, it took a little while and no offense to Serge and Alchemy, they worked their asses off, but unfortunately it took a bit. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to reopen while you're on this. I'm going to reopen my, because I closed it down thinking maybe it was a cause of the lag, but I closed down my no machine. So what I've done, guys, is I, and there, my latest video, which is more accurate, and I do think I have to update the um, uh, script that Serge runs. because I think he gave me a new link and I went and forgot to update it. But I do need to update my script inside of it but the actual install video itself should be still accurate sorry go ahead while i'm typing in my stuff no that's okay um so as you saw i did the uh the rug doc.io uh honeypot test i already know this isn't a uh a rug or anything like that or a honeypot um Basically, what this this is is just a another place like. Uh, do you remember Anchor by any chance? Were you in around? 
who That's doesn't right. remember Anchor. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> well, it's where a lot of the uh, a lot of the people, you know, the high value or high net worth individuals stick their stable coins for decent returns. Yipper. Um, so that's what Wombat is as well. Um, the big difference, though, is Wombat is actually backed by Binance. Oh, so this could be a kind of not an ever up token, but a token that keeps going in that direction. Is that correct? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Okay. I mean, it's definitely has a uh, 10 cent. You can see down here. Um, with that being said, uh, the way things are going with Binance, it, it's definitely a good choice. Um, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hey, you know, if I had, you know, fifteen hundred dollars for two grand out this is another one along with uh, you know, AVAX, uh Matic, FTM maybe, uh BNB. I'd let them run for, you know, weeks, if not months at a time. Uh, nice. if you had enough investment capital and you could make the grids wide enough. Yeah, yeah. So am I trying this one? Is this what we're thinking today? X E six. Um, you can say no, and I'm not going to kill you I, if I lose my 250. I, I, I literally am putting it in the risk Come down. Yeah. So maybe. Uh, well, I guess if I do my grid differently, that's the problem. Is we can't wait forever. Um, exactly. So what else? Do Here's one that today? I know should come back up though. XRP. Well, I could do that. Yeah, I don't know if I've done that one. Okay, let me pull up XRP, uh, and then I'll share my screen with you guys. But for now, if you have something while I'm pulling that up. Uh, XRP is... Um, right. XRP is another one I'm actually pretty bullish on. Oh, it's got good timing actually right now. Okay, so I'll pull up my screen share, and I'll actually go through you guys. So this is the... So I've set up this on a VPS, um, and... So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you guys me setting up the bot on mine. Actually, I don't want that. I want window. No machine. There we are. Share. All right. Perfect. So this is, uh, I've set up a VPS and I've actually got the bot set up and started right now. So I'm not starting from the finish, but here we are. Um, yeah, no problem, Dave. I appreciate you being here. Um, so I don't, no I don't want to show the rest of my screen. Hang on. I'm going to stop sharing. I want to share whatever I go to because I want to share where I'm grabbing the information from. Share screen here. So you get to see what we see. So there we go. All right. Let me know if anything doesn't seem right. Um, so right now I'm actually found the XRP and I think I double checked. So the pair is the correct one because I saw you pull that one up. So I know this is thing one you want to check is that. Thing two is obviously liquidity. Market cap is always great to look at yep. um, and interrupt me with anything. So now I've got my two pairs. So the neat thing about Deck Screener specifically is it specifically spreads out the two pairs as two different things here, and it gives you this copy button, which is quite nice. So I'm going to copy XRP. I'm going to go back to my actual bot, and I'm going to go into settings. So if you haven't used this bot before, the big thing is you need to add your tokens, which is right here. So I'm pasting in the one that I just copied and I'm going to add it and that's XRP. Then I go back over to my grid and I'm going to grab my WBNB and then again back over here and in here I'm going to paste that again. So I've oh, I highlighted it all, but I guess not. <laughs> it just keeps going. There we go. Sorry, newbie at the wheel. Uh, there we go. So WBNB. So now I've got my two tokens. So thing number one, though, is I believe, and I probably should have done this way beforehand, and now I'm going to probably have to fail us because, yes, I don't know where that password is right at the second. Which I have to. <laughs> so talk amongst yourselves. I will unshare my screen. <laughs> Frig, I knew there was something oh, I would forget. Oh, man. And that's always the case. You forget something live. Mm -hmm. So does anybody, uh, anybody else have any other questions? Uh, EOX full. Uh, what ratio do you look for? Um, I would say anything. 
I, I wouldn't I couldn't really tell you a, an exact ratio, but you want it enough that it's going to move the price, but not enough that when you buy in, especially if you're somebody, you know, trading with five thousand plus dollars. Um, and I've seen this happen. People have bought in with five thousand dollars and they enter a nonstop buy sell loop which the only way to get out of is to actually end your bot and sell. Um, you would think that would be a good thing. However, uh, you actually just gas rug yourself because of all the transactions going through. Um, so I'd say you would want more, tend to want more liquidity than volume. Um, maybe a 10 to 1 ratio. Does that sound about right? That seems to make sense to me yeah, if I was kind of to guess it. I mean, again, anything kind of – so the thing is once you get good at this and once you've practiced it a few times, you will get a little bit of a spidey sense, if you will, as to what makes sense. And so some tokens you may be okay with a different ratio uh, based on how it's moving and when you look at it because uh, I definitely have found that even myself and not that I'm a pro at this at all. Um but definitely found times where I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable with this and it's done well for me. Definitely. Why well, do I have two accounts here? So I'm almost there guys. And we will try and do this live, even though we're running long. I appreciate your patience and chilling with us. I'm just going to select all cause I don't know what account. Oh, it's this one for sure. Connect. Okay. So I'm logged in. Let's go back to my, I'll share my screen again. Share. So there's the chart. Let's go over to here. So I've got, I've pulled up pancake swap uh, because the other thing I need to worry about is with, if you notice the pair, it's XRP and WBNB. So right now I have, and what you want to do is you want all your funds sitting in your Normally you're stable. So this one actually is technically on paper a riskier play because we're using no stable coins. Usually you use BUSD or USDC or USDT, depending on what pair you are. So in this case, this pair is XRP and WBNB, which technically is riskier. But your starting pair is going to be this. If you were doing a reverse grid, you would possibly look at XRP. So if you thought XRP was going to go down in I guess technically it doesn't really matter its volatility, but if you feel like it was going to be going on a downtrend or it was sitting at the high, you might reverse grid it so that it would benefit you as the price goes down as opposed to up. In this case, as you can see, we're starting on the bottom. If you scroll out, we really are at kind of the bottom of the last little while, even from the 14th, we're at kind of the bottom of it. So we're going to take the BNB, which in this case we need to trade out my BUSD because that's what I had sitting here. So I'm going to go to trade now and we're going to put in our BUSD. And when it says WBNB and hopefully this hasn't changed, I actually would just be okay with BNB. Is that correct? That is correct. Yep. Okay, good. Making sure that was still the case. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to pull it all over there because what it doesn't matter. I'm only going to trade with $250 just because I want to start there and show you guys the progression. And it's easier if we have a starting point that's a round number. Um, so I thought I hit, for some reason, it's not coming up automatically, but I will check that for next time. So this is adding my permission. So we're going to confirm. So we're approving it now. I'm sure you guys know about this. If there's questions coming in, I can't see them. So you'll need to let me know. We don't have any at the moment. If anybody does have any go ahead and ask and same thing for some reason i have to manually. so if you ever don't have your metamask pop up you go back in manually and it shows up <laughs> Confirm. so i trade all my bsd for uh bnb in order to start the bot up with and now i can go back over to my alchemy trades i've got my two tokens in there so i'm going to go to grid start new grid um, I'm pulling a mind blank. This one here, I wanted to be XRP, right? Correct. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> WBNB. 
Um, so I apologize, guys. It really has been a while since I set this up. So the other thing you'll notice here, and this was something that was depends on the version you're on, but we do have to approve these both. So if this wasn't showing up there, you'd have to go back to where I just did what I did, where I did the exchange, and you'd want to approve these tokens before you started. And as you can see, I've got my 250-ish of BNB is sitting here, even though it's WBNB. And the reason for that, actually, I should explain that. If you notice uh, any token you search for, it's going to say WBNB because that's the native token. Um, but when you're on the DEXs, you're actually trading with W or with BNB, theoretically. Um, WBNB is really for the centralized exchanges. Um, you can wrap it when you're off the specific chain that they're on. So for instance, Ethereum, you'd be trading Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain, but on the Polygon blockchain, you'd be doing wrapped Ethereum. Am I out to lunch on any of that? I'm just thinking out loud. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Love it when I get it right. Um, so you want to throw me some upper and lower ranges? Yeah, give me a second here. That's right. I'm uh, throwing it out. Gotta pull back up. I'm making him do it for me so I can blame him later if I lose money. <laughs> uh, all right. Come on now. So, so the big thing you have to choose your four one. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry? Uh, I'll actually type it in our private chat here. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Makes it easy. So I don't make a mistake. And then I'm going to have to go to the private chat. So hopefully there's nothing. I should just go to it here. Where am I? That's not what I wanted to be. This one. Um... Oh, there's some chats here. Thanks for doing this. No problem. I appreciate you, Dave. And why wouldn't we use deck screener to in the bot for the swap? Is that what it's for? Uh, for the bot. For the... Sorry, uh, do you get that? I, I, sorry, Dave. Go ahead. He meant Dex Caliber. Uh, you definitely could have used Dex Caliber. Um, it works, and uh, it's actually oh, it. yeah, pretty true. interesting. Um, he probably. Honestly, just forgot that we have Dex Caliber. <laughs> I, I, you know what? <laughs> Not necessarily forgot, but didn't realize that I probably should have just used that because um, I would have. I guess I would have had to add the BUSD token to it in order to use it, but that's not that big of a problem. So you're absolutely right. Dex Caliber is a really powerful tool that I should have used. So I'm just putting this up for myself. All right. So upper, we're going to go with 0. 0.41. Lower, I'm going to go for 0.36. And let's see Hello. what it gives you. It's slow. Come on. Usually it comes up. Oh, you got to enter your WBNB amount. You're right. <laughs> Point nine zero. We'll just. Uh, what's two fifty actually right now? I should. I did say I was going to do two fifty to make it easy. So calculator. Uh, let's see if I. Um, where are we here? Oh, I'm on the wrong freaking price. Sorry, you're doing it. <laughs> I just realized I'm looking at XRP. Yep, this is exactly. Just tell it to uh, me because I don't want to go back to the chat. Put it in the in the chat again. It's like point point eight three seven four. It eight point four. Point eight four. Point eight four. Sorry. Right. So that's one thing I did not do is I did not put it in here. Um, so until you put that in there, it doesn't show you the fine grids. I've got my upper and my or my upper and my lower. I'll hit fine grids, and then this here will automatically kind of with the whole um, magic grid like kind of thing that we we're talking about before. It'll show the max grids that I can do based on the amount of money that I'm putting in and the range between my grids. Um, so are we looking to back? We're maxing these out now, right? Because this was the one that was. Yep more um because uh, there used to be one where it would give you larger grids but that was an older version kind of thing um right. xrp i don't think we need to worry about a stop loss eh? it's going to come back yeah i um then another good thing about stop loss is uh if you don't want to use it and it's on a token you believe is gonna you know rebound i let it dca down yeah i don't even worry about it 
And so the idea there is it doesn't matter how low this one goes, in my opinion, or in hiddens. And in my opinion, I'm okay with it because I know XRP will hopefully make a bounce. If it doesn't, again, I'm dealing with risk capital. So a couple of little whatever disclaimers. Um, if you're dealing with a not, and like I said at the start of this one, normally I'd be dealing maybe with a stable coin as one of my offsetting assets. If you're dealing with a stable coin, you don't necessarily maybe have to worry about the stop loss as much. But if you're dealing with a more volatile token or one that you're unsure of, you definitely want to put a stop loss in there just to protect yourself in losing all your money. So what it would do is, let's say you have $1,000 in there. If your stop loss is kind of 20% below what you're starting at in your purchase price, when it gets down to $800 of capital, it'll sell it off for you. So in this case, I'm going to be okay. So I'm going to go check profit. Um, and what this does is kind of gives you a little bit of a detail. So these are also really important numbers to look at. Your profit per grid, you want to kind of make that gap as much as you can. In this case, it's 27 cents, which is actually pretty large. Yeah, that's that's big. <laughs> it's almost too big? It seems like it. Um, the old Our old uh, math logic on it was two cents per grid was yeah. perfect this is more than the grid yeah am i losing it that doesn't make sense with a 0 0.008 oh moving per grid that's what i want to look at yeah, okay. yeah so profit per grid is actually pretty good in this case which is a nice thing yeah and your movement per grid where it's buying and selling is um really low which is this is actually a really good i like this i haven't seen this kind of start in a while um right. And then rate per grid is 40. Yeah, so this is good. So I'm going to start this. Um, so that rate then, per grid. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, that's okay. Um, and what I'll try and do is maybe take a screenshot of this uh, from the video before we start next week. And then we can kind of revisit this together. Um, so as like I said, as much as I don't mind this whole conversation being about whatever you guys want um, at the same token. Uh, and if you are able to join us live next time, then that's amazing. Uh, but at the same token, there always is a little bit of a focus on alchemy trades uh and because we do have some passion for this so this is connected the nice thing it's on my uh vps which i do have a link on my vps training video uh for catabo which is sorry quick plug here um which is a software or a, a vps service that you can set up if you wanted um this is one that's very well uh tested by the alchemy trades community uh, and that we all really like to use so great it gives me a little bit of a kickback of like whatever i don't even know what it is i should go and check that out because i did say uh to one of the guys that created one of the things that i'd help him out with a little bit of money um sorry i want to go back over to yeah and to us and i'll stop sharing my screen as i keep doing this stuff sharing. um yeah so dave agreed i should have done used excalibur for this when i did earlier um because it is a really efficient uh exchange software for trading the tokens because it's built into the software and not using the actual uh, decks to do the trade you're oftentimes getting better spreads on your money and all that kind of stuff so dave you're already ahead of the game i'm up 13 bucks look at that i'm not going to say no to that kind of whatever <laughs> total so this is the total of what i put in which i guess i didn't really check beforehand which i can check later but so I'm at 0.08%, so that's good. I can't believe they brought this back in. This was not in when I was using this. Obviously, it shows how long I've been without it. Um, so yeah, so and I guess I didn't go through this at all. So in here, you can go into update, and it'll show you how you set up your grid, what your starting price was, uh, which case you can look. So 3.814, so we're actually down, but I guess I probably got in... No, that's the price. Sorry, this is the starting price. So I'm actually up a tiny little bit. Um, starting total was two hundred eighty-three dollars, and I'm at two hundred thirty-three eighty. So I've gone up some good cents there, anyways, to start with. Two eighty-three eighty-one. So yeah, so I'm up like twenty cents or something. Um, so yeah, so this is what it's all about. If you have any questions, please do come by the Discord. Um, and uh, yeah. Any other questions or anything before we let you guys go? Hidden, anything else you want to say? Nope. Thanks for putting up on my me tonight. Hand. I was badly today. <laughs> um, as I said, I did drop earlier. Um, 
Okay, I thought you started at 250. I did start at 250. So the one thing, so what you have to keep in mind, sorry, that's a good point. Um, so when you look at the bot, although I started with 250 invested, and that's how much I picked, this is still based on your wallet size of what you had in there to begin with. So I think that's maybe where the disconnect happened. Correct. Yep. Um, yep. So starting total was 283.57. Now I'm at 283.80. Um, so I haven't gone up that much, uh, but I do appreciate you almost made me feel pretty happy. But um, so, yeah. <laughs> so thanks so much, Dave. Uh, thanks very much, everybody else who asked some questions. Uh, Excel, Elixis full. That's an interesting. I probably totally butchered that um rain main dude rain man dude uh and a few other views quarter mile i do appreciate you um so anybody else that's interested in this if this add value please like uh the video please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already um and uh and show some appreciation if you head by the discord do uh, at hidden and say hey i met you on on the little chat you guys had on Pocket Ace's channel. He'd love to hear that because um, uh, I do appreciate the value you add for this because I kind of lean on you for this because I'm doing other things. So I appreciate what you bring to the table when we have our little Monday chats. Um, of course. And yeah. And hopefully we'll have some more people. Last time before Christmas when we had this, we had uh, Sergey and Alchemy who are from the Alchemy Trades thing. Uh, I'm open to let this kind of go wherever as much as we focus a little bit on that. If you guys have some things you want to see, if you have a protocol you'd like to have us invite on here, I, I'm happy for this to go any direction that uh, pleases you guys. Um, so please let us know. Anything else you want to throw in there, Hitton? No, you said pretty much everything. Thank you guys for joining us tonight listening to us uh, ramble on about oh. different things. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. So we've done a little bit longer, but I do appreciate you guys sticking by and have yourselves all a fantastic rest of your week. I know it's Monday, but I'm sure it will go better as it goes. No, it won't. Sorry. It won't. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Take care.